This is a quick video over the mean or expected value. So we can have mean or expected value represented two ways. We can have it represented by the, the Greek symbol mu, or some type of function e, and some variable, and we're just going to use q. So these are both ways, of, and these mean the same thing. Mean and expected value are the same thing. So mean just means like the average. And and what value would you expect Q to be? Well, you would expect it to be the average Q, if that makes any sense. Well, let's just start doing problems. So let's say we have we have 1, 2, 3, 5, and 9. So these are our numbers, and they may represent something. I want to know what's the average of these. Well, all I do is add them all up, add them all up, and divide by the total number of numbers there are. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. So what that is, that is 20 out of 5. So the average of this, this the average of this set is 4. It's 4. So that's what average is. It's just adding up all the numbers and dividing by the total amount of numbers. So let's, let's say we flip a coin. We flip a coin. Flip, whoops. Flip a coin two times. We flip a coin two times. So how many different outcomes are there if we flip a coin two times? Well, you can get tails and tails both times. So this is one outcome. Plus, we can get we can get uh, tails then heads. So that's another outcome. Plus heads then tails. So that's another outcome. And finally, we can get we can get heads both times. Heads both times. So there are four outcomes. So if we wanted the average, we would just take all this and divide it by the total amount of outcomes, and that's four. So there are four outcomes. Now, why did we do that? Don't we need to assign values to these? So let's assign values. Let's say Q is equal to the number of heads in outcome. So the number of heads in outcome. Are there any heads in this? So the outcome of that is zero. Are there any heads in this? Well, there's one heads in this outcome, and there's also one head in this outcome. And finally, there are two heads in this outcome. So let's look at that. So what we have, we have 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 all over all over 4. So that's simply, that simply 4 over 4. So now, what is the expected, the expected outcome for Q? What would you expect, or what's the expected variable for Q? Well, that's just equal to 1. So if you flipped a coin two times, how many times would you expect heads to pop up? If you flipped a coin two times, well, you would only expect it to pop up one time. So let's look at this a little closer. So let's look at what we have here. So we have EQ is equal to 0 plus 1. Well, there are two ones, so we can just multiply that by 2. So 1 times 2 is equal to 1 plus 1, plus 2 times 1. There's only 1, 2, so we'll just multiply 2 times 1 to get our 1. And also, there's only 1, 0, so we'll multiply that by 1. Multiply that by 1, and we'll divide all this by 4. Well, let's actually, let's just disperse that 4 out. Let's break this fraction up. So really, we have 0 times 1 fourth plus 1 times two-fourths plus two times one-fourths, one-fourths. Now, why did we do that? Well, let's remember the, the probability mass function, probability mass function of zero is equal to one-fourth. The probability mass function for one is equal to two-fourths, and the probability mass function for two is equal to one-fourths. So what we'll do We'll plug this right there, this right there, and again, this right there. So let's do that real quick. So now we have the expected value of Q, which is also the mean, which is also the mean, is equal to, equal to zero times, times F zero, the, the probability mass function of zero, plus 1 times the probability mass function of 1, plus 
2 times the probability of mass function of 2. So now we have that. And really, what's that? Well, that's the summation. That's the summation of, of Q of QF of Q. <laughs> so what am I saying there? Well, if we have, if we have Q and F of Q, well, if Q is 0, F of Q is 1 fourth. If Q is 1, F of Q is, F of 1 is, F of 1 is 2 fourths, 2 fourths. And if we have Q equal to, the F of Q is 1 fourth. So really, this is equal to Q1, F of Q1, plus Q2, F of Q2, plus Q3, F of Q3. So that's what this means. So what we see is, whoops, what we see is, we see that the mean is equal to the expected value of Q, I mean they're the same thing, is equal to the summation of Q for Q, so Q times F of Q. So this, this is the same thing, it's the same thing as 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 all over 4 for our system up here. So, so technically this is equal to the summation of Q, actually it is equal to the summation of Q times F of Q. So, of all the different Qs.